God's beauty is all around us and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello and welcome to Painting Journeys. Once again, we're, um, we're in the studios and we're going to uh, be painting for you and taking you on a journey today. Uh, we're still in Ireland, we're still traveling around Ireland, but first of all I'd like to uh, remind you of what we did in our last episode, and uh, that was a painting of a boat along the, uh, the Grand Canal, and if you remember the Grand Canal is very, very narrow, and they, it flows from the Shannon River all the way to Dublin. Uh, it's a method of transportation. So anyway, um, and this is what the painting looked like when I had uh, completed it uh, at, at our show. And um, I had brought it this, this far along. I was pretty, pretty pleased with it, but it still was kind of rough. It needed a little more work. And so I took it to my home studio and I have enhanced it. And of course now it's framed and it has a little more color. Um, I mean, the, I like the roof to be a little brighter red over here. And I, I did a little work in the, on the fence here. And I did quite a bit of work on the boat. I noticed that I had it a little small before, and so I elongated it a little and highlighted it. And I added some red flowers over here just to bring the, the flow of the eye over because if, you know, now you see how your eye stays right in the picture because it just goes up and around. And uh, so anyway, that's the uh, um, boating on the Grand Canal. And uh, now today, um, as I was telling you last week, or uh, excuse me, as I was telling you at our, in our last episode, um, I was talking about the Shannon River. And the, the Shannon River is the main water source that divides East Ireland from West Ireland. We one day took a trip to the city of Athlone and um, we painted alongside the Shannon River. And this is the scene that we painted. Um, uh, and I am going to recreate, recreate it for you, um, make a new painting for you. And you know, it, it just, um, it really spoke to me and I have some funny stories to tell you about it. But anyway, so this is Kitty Lynn Klish and this is Painting Journeys and let's, let's go on a journey. All right, I have my palette as usual. It's warm colors and cool colors, not too large of a um, uh, color selection. I like to mix most of my paints. And um, I, I have this blocked in um, because I, for the shapes, because I wanted to not be worried about, um, uh, you know, getting that, the canvas covered for you. I wanted to really have the canvas covered and then go in and try for more of a, I'll be repainting the whole canvas, but I wanted to try for more of a finish uh, today. We'll see, we'll see how I do. Who knows? 50-50 <laughs> chance, mess or a masterpiece. So let's get to work here. When we went to Ireland, it was, I believe it was April, and um, might have even been the very beginning of May, but I think it was April. Anyway, the, I was told that it could be cold and it could be quite rainy. And um, 
but it, as it turned out, the 14 days that we were there, the weather was absolutely delightful. Really very, very pretty weather. I mean, it was like in the 60s and the sun shone almost every day, of which gave us a wonderful opportunity to see the beautiful landscape and the colors of the many, many various great uh, shades of green in the landscape. So, you know, the day that we went to Athlone, we were riding in the bus on the way over. We had this darling little mini bus that held about 16 people. Very comfortable. And we were riding along, and, and um, as you're passing by the, the homes, it was such a, a combination of, of different types of places. Some of the places were very old, all made of stone with thatched roofs. And then you would, every once in a while, you would come onto a place that was very quite modern looking. I was talking to a young man on the bus and he was telling me how Ireland at that time was in the midst of an economic boom and because of, of technology. And he said that, that uh, a lot of the places were you know, a lot of new businesses and new, new homes were being built and, and things like that. Um, and I was quite impressed by that. I was also a little surprised. I didn't know that, you know, that Ireland would be um, in that technological race that the world seems to be in now. Anyway, I like the older places. I like the places that had character, the old stone fences everywhere, all the fences, the, the fields. Sometimes you go by a farmer's place and his whole field would be cut off into little um, sections, you know, maybe like a quarter of an acre, and there would be these little stone fences around it. And I guess this was for the sheep, because I don't think that the sheep could climb over those small fences, or because they, I think they were only like maybe two or three feet high. I guess the sheep wouldn't go over them. So we saw all kinds of different sheep. The sheep over there, they look different than the ones here. They're larger, a little larger, and they look a little wilder kind of their hair is, and their faces are a little more pointy looking and kind of different looking. But then like every place, you know, it, each place has animals that adapt to the areas that they're in. Just laying the sky in, I want, I want the clouds in there they're important because they kind of go with the story that I have to tell about our painting trip along the Shannon River in Athlone. We got there and painted all morning and the weather was absolutely gorgeous, sunny, beautiful, just like this picture. And then as we're we take a look, we took a lunch break, and there was this marvelous Thai restaurant, and everyone wanted to go to that. Can you imagine Thai food in Ireland? <laughs> I was kind of surprised, but it was delicious. Anyway, so someone, we all had all of our painting supplies, so someone had to stay outside and watch the, the painting supplies. So I thought, well, I'm the teacher, I'll do that. And um, um, 
So I sat outside alongside the river, and I, they brought me out the food. The waiter brought it out on a tray, and I swear you'd have thought I was the Queen of England. There I am sitting out there on this bench along the river with this gorgeous view, and here's the waiter bringing me these ornate, this ornate pot of tea and, and everything that I had ordered. And it, it was just, I felt very special. It was very, very nice. Very, very nice. People in Ireland are, they're kind of, I don't know, they're really special people. They're very, they're very kind, very outgoing warm, friendly, almost to a fault, <laughs> but I enjoyed myself. Later in the day as we were, after lunch, we had gone back to our paintings and um, it clouded over and I had one little gal in my group that was painting in watercolor and the wind had come up. I've got this building right here, so I have to be careful with this line right in here. And I do want to put more of those clouds in there. Anyway, she's painting with watercolor and sitting very close. She made me kind of nervous because she was so close to the edge of the river and she all of a sudden she we hear this scream and we look and there's her painting it had blown off of her easel and into the water and you know we didn't have anything to fish it out with and <laughs> she'd working been working all day on it and She's crying and, and, oh, help, help, help. And the painting is just like floating on the top of the water, and you know, because the water was really rough and moving, and the painting's just kind of floating around. And so here comes this marvelous Irish fellow, and he's got, the, he, he's got this thing. I don't know where he came from, but he's got this thing that's kind of got like a hook on it. And he comes running over, I will get it, I will get it. You know, so he's fishing in the river. Well, it, when he went to, to reach down to pull it up, it um, kind of made it sink in a little bit further. And I thought, oh boy, it's gone. It's, it, it's got to be gone now. But he was able to lean over. And I mean, and he was really leaning over. He was leaning over the water, and a couple of the guys in our group were holding his legs as he was trying to fish down and pull this painting back up. Well, do you want to hear the most marvelous thing, though? When he did pull the painting back up, it wasn't torn, and the painting was still there, even though it had been you know, tossed around in the water. It was quite amazing to all of us, you know. So then the skies opened up and it started to pour. And here we all are. We're dressed rather lightly, you know, and the rain was cold. Oh, God, it was cold. And so we had to run, and there was no place to put our... our um, supplies, the bus, our painting supplies, the bus was nowhere to be seen. And um, so we ran down the street and there was a, the pubs in Ireland, some of them are very, very tiny, very tiny. I mean, like we're, we're talking about maybe a room that is maybe eight by 10, okay? And everyone is all crowded in there, okay? Well, we ran into this pub and they had a back room 
and they let us go in their back room and there was a little fireplace there. Oh, it was so neat. There was a fireplace and um, um, they served us drinks, warm drinks. We all had, I think we had Irish coffee to kind of warm up and everything and we stood around the fire and it was lovely. It was really, really something. It was quite an exciting day. Uh, let me see here. I'm seeing a little more pink on this bridge. Pink in the gray. And a little gray in there, let's see. And we do have this building behind. There's a little dark spot right in there. A little shadow area. And then this is coming like this. The, the churches, cathedrals, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I put a little bit of my sky in there. I'll try to get this to have like a little more of a... of a textured feeling. You probably think that's kind of funny. I just sort of stop and mid sentence, and I have to think though, to think as I'm working. Okay, and I want that to be a little. There we go. That's not looking too terribly bad. Not to say that it's looking good, but it's not looking too bad. A little round thing there. The big thing I'm, I can't wait to get to is the water. That's gonna be nice and fun. Show you how I make my, my, my water, my moving water. Uh, that bridge has just got a little bit of all these different colors in it, so. There we go. And this right here, this is a little darker. You know, when it comes to places to, to travel to, I think probably Ireland is, was one of my favorites. I can't say more than Italy or any of the other places I've been, but Ireland was very, very special. Special time, special group of people. This has got to be quite a bit darker underneath here. Just show that bridge. And this right in here. up <clears throat> the color underneath it. I need it darker. Need that dark. There we go. And then here. That's coming up like that. And we might have to go back in there a little bit. A little later on and I don't want to get stuck in this one spot here. I do want to darken. I'm going to take a little bit of my alizarin 
and put in the in this reflection. I don't want it to be so cool that shadow underneath the bridge. I want to warm that up a little bit by using just a little bit of my alizarin. You see how that much more alive that makes that look? There we go. There. That looks good. I don't know what I would do without my alizarin crimson. It's one of my favorite colors to paint with. You can tell I'm getting, really getting into this now. I'm thinking hard. I want this to turn out nice. You know, until the 1800s when they built those canals from the Shannon River that connected the Shannon River to the uh, um, eastern side of Ireland to Dublin and everything, everything had to go by land. That must have really been something. But the canals they built, they, the Oh, right, let's see here. Pretty straight, not too bad. Hmm. Now we'll soften that in just a little bit there. I just want that to look like a little bit of a shadow up above there. There we go. And I'm going to take my wipeout tool and wipe this out. I want this to be much, much darker. There. And then I'll come back in with my red and the black and fix that guy up. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right. And... Right, coming right here now, I see we have uh, this was this was kind of a, a circle that that came around in the water, and it jutted out, um, and there was grass, and as you can see, there was grass and things growing in there, and. Um, So we'll have to be sure and get that in. But then here on the bottom, whoops, not dark enough, Kitty. Here, here on the bottom, there, now we got to lighten that up. Um, is casting a little darker shadow. So there we go. There's another little one right there, too. And then if we just take, whoops, if we just take our wipeout tool and wipe out a little bit right in here. See how nicely that removes the paint? We'll take a smaller brush and we'll put a little bit of green in there. Greens of Ireland here. It needs to be a little bit brighter. And then we'll put a little bit of light on it. Pop it just a little bit. There now. And over here, I think there's a little bit too. I don't know. We have a that building that we've got to kind of get blocked in there. I 
in the water, the reflection of this is coming down into the water. And the reflection over here is coming into the water and back in here. Okay. The building, okay. I'm gonna need a little smaller brush for that. And let's see, that's that same kind of gray. It's funny how when you look at scenes, things just keep repeating themselves, it seems like. So we're putting this roof on. And I'm not gonna worry about a lot of detail. The roof comes down like this. It's a little bit lighter, warmer. Light striking it is why. So that will be right there. And then we have another little building right there that has a little roof on it that's coming this way. Okay, and let me see here. I've got a couple little um, windows. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to do too much here. I just want to sort of suggest. And then when I take this back to the studio, then I'll, to my home studio, then I'll do a little bit more of the detail on it. Really doesn't need much detail. It's just, it's back there. It's not really all that important. We just want to show that it's there. Maybe a little bit of white on this one here in the front of this one. Lighten that up just a bit. And the roof is coming out here. And then we'll have to take our sky and bring it down right in there. There, and put the roof back on there on the corner. There we go. Okay, now, so down here, then we have this pinkish of the building again. And So we'll carry that through right there so that we can see that the building is on the, on the um, back side there. Over here and in here, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of detail, you know? I don't even want to go there. I don't, want, I don't want to get bogged down with all that detail. Um, I, I see that there's a nice dark tree here on the shore, and there's another one that's a little bit lighter. Um, I mean, that, that detail is so far back. If I made it too pronounced, it, it really wouldn't make for a good painting. So I'll just put these back here, and you know, I'll just... There, and maybe we'll do the same right here. Maybe we'll have a, instead of putting all those buildings and, and bushes and stairwells, everything that I'm seeing here in my picture, maybe we'll just have a little green right in there too, like there was a little tree and some light over here, the same thing. Nothing like greening it up. Now, it isn't what I see but I don't want detail, so that's why I do it. I want to just suggest that there's something back there. 
so that we can see that there's something back there. All right, now the water on the other side, I want to show that as being quite a bit lighter on the other sh side of the shadow. So that we can see that we have the shadow and then we also have the water so that we feel we have more of a feeling like we're seeing through. Okay, we'll take that dark brush again and punch back up our, our shadows in the water. Kind of let that soften together there to, I don't want the hard line. There we go. Okay, looking pretty good. Now I want to take some, the water has some beautiful um, hues of, of, of blues and greens and reflections and everything in it. So I'm going to start by making my downward strokes um, in this fashion. I'm going to take some dark and put in there. You see what I'm doing here? Just making kind of a downward stroke uh, where I see light. I have to get a clean brush and I'll put light. And there is light right in here. And there's lots of light from this building or the bridge or something right there. So we definitely want that in there. Okay. And there's more light. And there's light going right across here too. And some light over in here. I'm not going to worry about the swans. I don't know if you can see them. <clears throat> you see them here. I have three swans because there was one that was quite a bit larger and he was very close and he was very friendly. In fact, he was a real beggar. He was always there <laughs> looking for a handout, especially when I had lunch. There we go, okay. Now then, we'll put more dark on. This river has so many beautiful colors of blue in it. It's just unbelievable. And some gray, too. Okay. This is kind of a tedious application. But you'll see what I'm going to do here in a few minutes. I think you'll like it. This is my preparation. I need some even darker. One thing about my trip to Ireland with all the painters, I stayed at a place uh, by the, 
that are in in uh, County Clare, and it was had belonged to it was an estate that had been converted to a bed and breakfast. It was absolutely gorgeous. The grounds, everything. I mean, just little streams running through it, and and uh, the pasture lands around it. It's a little church, uh, Catholic church, that belonged to the little town, village. It was more of a village. It wasn't really a town, but anyway, um, the um, I went uh, to the mass there on that Sunday to the church. And it was just lovely inside. And for all of you Catholics out there, you'd be amazed at how fast an Irish mass is. I thought we did a, fir uh, a fast mass in, this, in the States. My goodness, theirs was like all of about 25 minutes. I guess there's a lot of us that would prefer that, but I was kind of surprised. I thought it would be longer. Um, anyway, when we would get back in the evening, um, there was this gorgeous, huge sitting room with all these chairs, and we would all sit around and have um, cocktails and while we were waiting for dinner to be served, you know. And it was, in a way, you know, I mean, you didn't have to dress for dinner if you didn't want to, but you could. It was one of those wonderful kind of places that kind of left it to you what you wanted to do. There was a couple of nights that I got kind of gussied up, and then there were um, quite a few nights that I was just too tired to mess with it. But anyway, so then we'd go into this lovely dining room and have marvelous service and talk about our day. And everybody, that's the point time when everyone would come together and we would share our adventures. Because um, the painters, husbands, um, or friends that had traveled with them on this trip on this journey, sometimes they would go and do something else during the day while we were out painting. Uh, racing, horse racing is really big over there. And so a lot of the guys would go to the horse races. So kind of exciting. I don't know if anybody bet or if they won. If they did, they didn't brag to me. If they lost, they didn't cry to me. That was kind of nice, I guess. Okay. You're probably thinking, what in the world is she doing? Trust me. You have to trust me. I think, like I told you in the beginning, 50-50 chance, a mess or a masterpiece. Alrighty. And we've got a little bit of light down here to kind of bring it up. Okay. It's a rather... <clears throat> I think I want to highlight that rock just a little bit there. You know, to be able to travel and go to these different places and then to be able to come into your living room and share these journeys with you. And as I'm painting and showing you you know, somewhat what the place looked like. It, it, it's such, I feel so truly blessed. This is just I, a real highlight for me of my day or my week or since it's a, a monthly show, my month, but I really like it. it. I like to have this opportunity and I always have to, you know, I think about all the guys here that it takes to make this show, you know, the cameraman and the guy in the booth. I appreciate them all. Okay, now 
I think it's time for us to make a little magic. All right, so let's make the River Shannon come to life. For just a second, I do see a little pink here and there. Okay, now, let's see here what happens. Smaller brush. This one might be good. a little bigger one. So we'll keep with the smaller one back here. You're going to like this one and stuff. Now we'll take a little bigger brush. I think this one would be good. All right. That water is moving very fast. So what I'm trying to do is create that feeling of the moving water still have our our bridge coming down into the into the um, reflection reflecting excuse me reflecting into the water all right okay All the colors of blues and the and the reflections and shadows will all be in there. I hope this looks like water to you. It does to me. Maybe a little bit of light here because we're going to have our our uh, swan coming down right in here. So there would be just a little bit of a light in that area. A little bit of the swan's neck coming down in the water. Okay. All right, that looks nice and soft, like 
lots of water with action in it. Maybe we'll put just a few, a few little darker places in it to kind of give it a little bit of a, of a lilt. There's a good Irish word for you. At night, they um, would have like a little cabaret for us at the uh, place where we were staying. And they had this gentleman that was a storyteller. I have never heard anything like this in my life. You know, over here we have rapping, and it's, you know, kind of like a story. Well, to hear it done in an Irish brogue, and everything is rhyming, and the fellow is making it up as, he, as he's going. I mean, he's looking at you, and he's making up a, a, a poem about you. While you're, while you're sitting there. I mean, it was just amazing. This gentleman was just the cutest uh, fellow and so talented that he could just make these little verses up and he addressed each one in the, <laughs> in the room. He had his little sayings. It was, it was really something and they're called a storyteller. And they'll they'll tell they tell stories about old, you know, olden times in Ireland and and um, the past and it's just really something. There we go. Okay, now I think we need to get those um, swans in there. And I think I have this one. I'm looking at the, my placement here, and I'm not real happy with that. He seems to me like he's not quite in the right place. I'm going to bring him down just a little bit here. Make him be just a little bit lower, getting rid of his neck and head, where I have it marked in there. Okay, and he should really be more down here, I think. Because he is closer to the, he is closer to the viewer, and I might change them around when I get them back to the studio. I can't believe how fast the time goes by when we get together. I really can't. It just seems like it flies, and. I know I'm running out of time here, so I don't really have the time to make the adjustments that I might make when I get back, but I don't want, I, they're looking to me like they're a little bit like one, two, three. And so I think what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna block this one out. a little bit of that blue in there. I'm going to block him out. And I'm going to make him overlap his buddy over here. Okay, so now we'll just have to get the water action going again. Okay, and I want him to be like he's further away and this, this guy here, he's, he's going away from us. So we're seeing his tail right there. And then I want this guy here. I'll do, I think I'll have him 
overlap his friend here. And then he'll come down here and he'll come up and there. There we go. So we'll have those two overlapping. I think that'll be nice. And I'm just going to take without too much ado here and see if I can make a swan for you. All right. Okay, now this one's smaller, so we have to be a little more careful. I think we'll take some blue and across here and make him a little bring him down in the water just a little bit we want to bring this guy down in the water his reflection down in the water too a little okay There we go, and now this one here, a little more on him. And the nice part of this is that I can always come in with the blue to get my shape right. If, the, if I want the swan's neck to be a little narrower, or I want him to be a little smaller, I can do that with by coming in from the outside in. That always helps a little bit. There we go. All right, now. Yeah, that, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, we get the idea that there's a couple of swans there, except his head isn't quite right. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I like the swans in there a lot. I think they add a lot to the picture, um, to the painting. And the swans are journeying down the Shannon River in Athlone. And they are all part of the experience, the wonderful, marvelous experience of going to Ireland. I hope I get back there someday. I truly do. It was just a wonderful trip. Let me see if I kind of beat my brush on the canvas. I can kind of get this guy's a little bit of this guy's texture and, and feel. And maybe the water's even, yeah, his little neck is coming down here. There we go. And we just need a little bit of orange on uh, the bill. Is that what a swan's mouth is called? I'm not sure. That's the trouble, see, I always, I never pay attention to what things, the names of things are. I don't know, just as long as I can paint them. That's all that's important to me. It's just a shape or a color, a value, a temperature. It's not, I don't know about the thing. There we go. A pretty big 
pretty big schnauts on these guys, eh? Mm. Let's take that in just a tad. There and there. There we go. Don't want him to look like Donald Duck. Okay. And then they do have just that little tiny bit of black on them that's right up in here. Okay. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe just a little more of a highlight on the rock to kind of liven that up a little bit over here. Whoops, I don't want that. Don't want that. There we go. A little more life up in here. And in there, coming down here. Okay, there they are. The three swans on the Shannon River. And like I said, I'll take that back to the studio and work on it a little bit. But I think that it is pretty close to being done. I'm pretty happy with it. I really enjoy this time with you today. It's, it's such a treat to be able to be here and have you watching me as I create make my journey across the canvas. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klish, and you've been watching Painting Journeys. Be sure and catch the next episode where we'll see the, the uh, Shannon River uh, completed, and I will be taking us to a new place in Ireland and I know you're going to really like it. I'm going to take you inside of a true Irishman's house. So until then, bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.